and Iran, uh, a job on hand, reality, they can progress, but they have to get it done. But the big uh, problem right now is the centre-back Chesmi is out. He was injured, as you mentioned. But this is why you need a good squad for players to come in and settle in and get the job done. Have you ever been in a situation where either one of your teammates or yourself, you've been thrown into a situation where a so-called bigger player or first-team player was injured? Actually, I was um, my first uh, World Cup, 2002. Uh, it was on the training the day before the opening game against England. Our captain, uh, Patrick Anderson, uh, who played for Bayern Munich and uh, several other Barcelona, he got injured. So we had to change. Um, and that was just uh, not even 24 hours before the game. Wow. So that was a big thing. And I, was, I remember I was, I was thinking, because this was my first World Cup, and I was going to start the game, so I was really excited. And suddenly our biggest leader on the pitch mm. was out. And we just had to deal with it. Deal with it. Um, it's a special situation, but it, it's a matter of how you take this on as, yeah. a, as a challenge, as a team. You just next one is coming in. We know that that guy who, who come in, who comes in, um, knows what to do, and that's the strength of a of a squad. And that's where the manager plays a key role as well. Of course, the manager is important. The way he selects the players for every position, especially this kind of tournament, you know. As Mark said, this experience, I had my experience as well in my first World Cup when uh, Captain Emerson got mm. injured one day before the competition started. And then I was chosen to replace him and play the whole seven games and still play for a few more years to come. Uh, but it's about for the players who come in, be prepared. Because some, for some people, you know, they believe oh, I'm, I'm on the bench, may not be in use. But then it's when the, this kind of chance happens, you know, because uh, somebody gets injured, you have to be prepared to go there and do your job in a better way. Oh, I this like is the man. Uh, sorry. So, sorry, Marcus, you were saying? I really like that you say that. Uh, that's one of the things. I'm working as an agent now, and I have uh, communication with a lot of our players, obviously. And uh, this is one thing that I try to push and push and push all the time to our players. This is what I thought... I was proud, I did this. I was prepared all the time. I, I didn't always start games, not, e not in the national team, not in the clubs I was playing. Mm. But when I did, I was, I was proud that I prepared myself. Um, I knew what to do on the pitch. I slept well, I eat well, I, I did everything. Because I didn't want, when I finally got the chance, I didn't want anyone to say, you see, you weren't ready. Because <laughs> I wanted to show them that I was ready. Yeah. And uh, so I, I like that you say that, yeah, because blow, that's important. You cannot blow out the, your chance, you know, because sometimes you no. just have one chance. Yeah. And uh, when the, the manager needs you, you have to be ready 100% and to go there. And sometimes perform better than the guy before. And then you, the coach say, come on, the guy, now what I do, mm. I have to change again or keep him in, in the team. And this is what teamwork is all about. I mean, you, you, you have to realize that it's not you playing. Yeah. Playing in a team, and uh, it's it's even as as important to be on the on the bench and be prepared to come in and to make a change. And 